Hey guys, Master Gid here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so we are continuing on now with the anniversary headliner showcases. I just put up the Gogeta one and we are going to check out the Broly one. Of course, Broly does have an intro animation uh, that we will go straight into here. Uh, looking very nice. Man, that scene in the movie was so good. I know they showed it in like one of the trailers, but damn. Okay, yeah, that, that is awesome. All right, so... We got our boy Broly. Uh, now, the one problem with showcasing Broly is that we don't have the uh, Super Bosses category in the game. Because the private server can do a bunch of the other stuff. But for some reason, until the category actually comes out, uh, it doesn't show in the game. So we can't have the Super Bosses category. So the whole team is basically Transformation Boost or Full Power. But we're mainly just here to see Broly and what he does on the 200% lead, right? So... We'll get his art up here while we read out the details from the wiki, because of course it is going to be all in Japanese over here. Um, but there you go, there's our boy. Super good art. Oh, the eyes. Yeah, dude, the art's so cool. Right, so his leader skill is Super Boss's Transformation Boost or Full Power, 3 key 170. Additional 30% to Exploding Rage or Movie Bosses. So there's going to be a lot of Movie Boss characters that are on Transformation Boost, so then they can be on his 200% leader skill. His super attacks, he infinitely stacks attack and raises defense for one turn on his 12 key super, as well as doing colossal damage. His ultra super greatly raises attack as an infinite stack, greatly raises defense for four turns and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. So he gets his entrance animation, it gives him 5 key, attack and defense 100%, and launches an additional super attack for 4 turns. Attack and defense 150%, guards all attacks, key plus 1 per key sphere obtained, additional attack 50% when performing a super, and then an additional 50% defense if it's an ultra super. Key 2 and launches an additional super attack as the first or second attacker in the turn, and then 6 key and launches an additional super, and high chance of launching another additional super as the third third attacker in the turn and then he can transform on his fifth turn which also activates his domain so this one that's on turn one obviously we will get to transform on turn five so start of turn uh, we got 284k defense it's not a crazy amount but obviously he does have guard as well and then on his 18 keys greatly raising defense for four turns so his defense is going to be significantly higher on the second turn we are going to get a bit of support here from Janemba as well. And then remember, he's getting a ton of extra like on super as well. So what are we looking at here for the first attack? Uh, 11 million. Okay. So not bad. First attack of turn one, 11 mil. And remember, he's greatly stacking attack on the 18 key. And then he will be regularly stacking attack on these additionals. Um, which, of course, he does get a guaranteed uh, additional here. 7.5. I thought the freezer event would be fun to do because not only is it one of the longer ones so we get to see more turns but it's pretty appropriate for uh you know that segment in the movie where Gogeta basically uh Gogeta was you know they went off to fuse into Gogeta and Broly just absolutely beat down freezer for what was it like an hour because they failed to fuse twice um and it lasts half an hour right so <laughs> Um, so let's go ahead and we do want to make sure we're always getting the 18 key supers. So we'll do this. Unfortunately, can't link with the physical Broly until they both start transforming. Um, I thought Rosé would be an interesting character for this team, but they do only, uh, he does only get the 170 lead because he's not exploding rage or movie bosses. But, uh, this gives our boy, yeah, he's at 6.89 uh, for this rotation. Similar links active. I noticed this in the Gogeta showcase, and I'm not really sure why, where the friend units seem to be weaker than the main one. Um, I don't know if there is a reason for that or not. Because, uh, like, we seem to have the same links active for the most part. But the uh, friend one seemed to be doing slightly lower numbers for some reason. I'm not sure if it's... Uh, I'm sure there's, there's probably some really obvious reason that I'm overlooking, but it is what it is. So Broly, of course, the more additionals we get, the more he infinitely stacks his attack. So the crazier it's going to be on the uh, following turns. Now, of course, on this team, um, Rosé does not have uh, crossover allies. So he doesn't have the guaranteed chance to guard. Um, but, of course, he does still have a chance to guard. So he's going to be all good here. Um, what will physical Broly take from this? 147. Okay, that's fine. Physical Broly could be a bit of a liability on the team, but... 
I just kind of brought him to be, uh, you know, a unit that's going to share some links and everything with uh, the Broly once we actually do start to transform. Um, because, you know, we finally have a Broly in the game that's actually going to be a good tank. So Cooler is here because, of course, he is a support unit for transformation boost when there's only one enemy. He doesn't link very well with the rotation or the team in general, but he's here to provide some support. Um, and so with that defense stack we got from the previous turn on his 18 key super, he's starting out at 487k here um, with guard. And then remember, he's going to raise greatly raise his defense again on his 18 key super. Um, then obviously he does get the extra 50% when we're doing a um, ultra super from his passive as well. So he's going to be getting close to the regions of a million defense, right? Especially with each of these extra supers he gets raising defense by 30%. So by the time he's finished supering, he will fairly regularly be over a million defense um, with guard on these first few turns, right? And then once he transforms, he just has guard as well. So he basically has guard all the time, um, which is pretty crazy. So... Yep, easily tank those all for double digits. And then, of course, after getting some attack raises last time, now we're at 13 million for his first 18 key super of the turn here. Um, you know, if we ever do start to see proper longer events again, um, this guy's going to build up to some actual insane numbers because even his 12 key supers are infinitely stacking his defense as well. They're obviously just only stacking by a slightly smaller amount. So... But every little helps, right? Every single one of these counts towards the uh, the stacks, which of course carry over to once he's transformed as well. So look at this, just absolutely destroying Freezer here. Not enough to uh, actually finish the job though. So Freezer's going to get to super attack us, of course, in Broly, <laughs> taking a bit of damage here. But he hasn't really gotten a chance to do much, has he so far? So he's not very built up. Imagine when this in Broly gets his easy A as well. Because uh, he's getting the 200% leader skill from this Broly. And uh, once he's got his easy A, hopefully they'll do a good job. And then, yeah, he's going to be going absolutely insane. So let's see. We'll go ahead and do this. And then we're going to be able to get the orbs for Janemba. I think so. Because then that gives Broly the extra key as well. Yeah, perfect. So Broly's, there we go. And uh, the friend one here with the support as well. Uh, is up to 8.9. I don't know why, again, it's significantly less than the other one. I really don't know why. But if anyone does know, let me know. But the uh, the main one, our leader, is the main like the main one, right? And his numbers and everything should be correct. I'm not sure what the deal is with the friend one. But it is what it is. I mean, the thing is, even with these slightly lower numbers, he's still pretty insane, right? With all of this defense, doing all of these extra attacks, having guard... And then, of course, on the next turn, we're now going to start getting the uh, transformation going off. Now, sadly, with the uh, extra having an extreme class enemy, it doesn't really make a huge, uh, huge amount of difference here. So, yeah, just casually tank that for uh, double digits. I just love we finally got a Broly who's like a good tank. It's going to be awesome to be uh, messing around with this guy. Can we get an additional super for Super Saiyan 3 Rosé? Get that extra stack. I can't wait to see him transformed into full power next to the full power Broly as well. That rotation is going to be super fun. Even though this guy is only getting a 170 leader skill on this team. So obviously he's not going to be as crazy um, as he potentially could be under a 200% leader. But as someone who's a big fan of this Super Saiyan 3 Rosé, I think this is going to be a fun team to run him on. But here we go. Both of the Broly's are going to transform on this turn. So his transformation is an active skill. Um, but yeah, turn five, it creates the domain at the different dimensions of space, uh, raises extreme class allies by four key for four turns. Um, so I think we are just going to, do you have like a full link set? Obviously we don't get Berserker, so yeah, unfortunately not. But we'll go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and transform here. Get our uh, good old transformation animation in here. The close-ups are just so good. There we go, full power Broly. And here's the uh, the domain activating as well. So we have the uh, 
alternate dimension of space. So the domain, extreme class allies and enemies, attack and defense plus 10%, additional attack and defense plus 10% if they also belong to exploding rage or movie bosses, which is obviously our whole team. Now, technically that does include the freezer enemy, but I guess it is what it is. Um, so we'll go ahead and do this. So he gets key plus six, attack and defense 300%, guards all attacks, key one per key sphere obtained, well, plus one, while the domain is active, he has 26% damage reduction before attacking. Then he gets an additional 50% attack when attacking, an additional 50% defense when receiving an attack. Launches an additional super when attacking. Chance of performing a critical hit 26% when performing a super. Launches another additional super and chance of performing a crit 26% when performing an ultra super. And launches another additional super when key is 24. So if you get 24 key, He's getting what? So you've got guaranteed one at 24. Then you've got a guaranteed additional super when you're doing the 18 key super. And then you have a chance to... Um, what is it? When for launching another super... Yes, yeah, so he could do what? Like five supers on his maximum turn? <laughs> so, and his super attacks greatly raise attack and defense for one turn, make a colossal, and then raise attack and defense for one turn and do colossal to all enemies. So... He's looking at 613k defense start of turn with guard. When he gets hit for the first time, he's going to get a 50% defense buff. And we don't have any support on the rotation. So he's just going straight up to 900k defense when he gets hit. Then he's getting a whole bunch of defense off of his super attacks. So yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty crazy. We'll do this and then we'll do this so we can get a little bit of extra HP back here. Um, but yeah, let's see what our boy's going to do. So he gets hit, defense goes up. Uh, he's now got 900k defense. He's also got damage reduction before attacking. And then what are we looking at here? 21 million. <laughs> 21 million from a unit who is almost essentially invincible in slot one. It's pretty good. Uh, and then, of course, he's now going to do multiple additional attacks, which obviously he's not going to in this situation because Freezer's just going to get killed here. Um, now, what is interesting about his passive is he gets buffed by the domain being active which means the other broly um you know you can't have two domains active at the same time but transforming the other broly activates the domain as like an additional effect so we should unless i'm completely misunderstanding how this works we should be able to transform the other broly and whilst it won't obviously create a second domain his passive will then activate the part where he's getting the buff for the domain being active but there you go. So I did see someone posting on Twitter about it before. So you can't transform both the Broly's at the same time. So that is actually very interesting because uh, the Broly in his Super Saiyan form, um, he is only guarding, was it for four turns or for the four turns? Actually, no, I think, oh no, he just does. He does just have guaranteed guard all the time. Okay, good. Because yeah, I was going to say, otherwise that would be a bit of a disappointment for him. Because, of course, now that we can't transform this one, it means that the uh, he would be a little bit more um, vulnerable uh, because he's not getting all those extra buffs. So that is interesting. Um, but yeah, so he's still guarding, so he's still fine. Obviously, his start of turn defense isn't crazy, though. So, that you know, even with guard, like you can see here, the AGL Freezer, he hits, like, okay. Not, like, super hard. But in slot one, taking 220k... Uh, it's not ideal. And obviously this freezer can double super. So we actually could be in uh, a little bit of trouble with the cooler in the final slot. Of course, Broly's going to get a bunch of additionals here. Uh, Rose transformed is going to uh, do some decent damage as well. Uh, we didn't get any extra stacks with him, sadly. And again, we're on a 170 team. But post super attack, uh, full power Rose just tanks everything in the game anyway. It's only really cooler that we kind of have to worry about here. But, I mean, again, he's doing an 11 million attack stat, though, after getting no additionals in his base to get extra stacks. And that's on a 170 lead. So, he definitely is a cool option for uh, Broly's team, I think. But, are you really going to do that? That one attack at the end, is it really going to be a super? Bro, that would be so disappointing. Because remember, the domain, whilst it's giving all of us extra defense on our team... It's also giving the Freezer extra attack and defense. 281k, geez. Uh, well, fortunately, this Broly is an absolute monster. 
And uh, he's still, yeah, 400k defense. We're going to get extra when we pick up the Alter Janemba if we can get enough, which we can, because those drop down perfectly. So we'll go ahead and do this and then do this. No need to worry about uh, dying here. <laughs> so we get our extra defense buff and then we are looking at, what's it going to be this time? Uh, yeah, 27 million. <laughs> oh boy, that is, uh, yeah, 27 million. <laughs> uh, he's pretty good. <laughs> and then, of course, this gives us the opportunity now to actually get some of these additional supers. So basically 19 million. Um, and he's still got another... We got 24 key. So he's got at least one more of these guaranteed. Um, and then I think, isn't he getting... Oh, yeah, he's just... He attacks so many times. <laughs> and he doesn't need to because he does so much damage. And then the enemy just dies. Um, this is kind of scary, though. Because his start of turn defense here... I think this is the one letdown for him, right? Is this start of turn defense when you don't have the um, the ability to transform with the other one? So I feel like if you're running the double Broly leads, you kind of need to have um, another unit for him to like be next to, right? Because um, otherwise, we could be... Uh, I mean, if he gets supered in slot one, even with the guard, he's going to take quite a bit of damage, unfortunately. Um, so I think what I'll do... do I, did I bring items with me? I did. Yeah, I'll go ahead and use a Whis here just to make sure, like, Broly doesn't get... The Int Broly doesn't get us immediately killed in slot one. Because I do want to see, um... Full Power Broly again on the next turn. I don't know, does the Domain last for a certain number of turns? Uh, yeah, because it says it creates the Domain and raises Extreme Class Allies key by four for four turns. So then the domain would run out, I think, on the next turn, right? Because then that would still enable you to then transform the other Broly. Um, so that's the only thing I... <laughs> he dodged it in the end anyway. That's the only thing I could foresee being an issue, right? Is if you're going to use Broly as a slot one defensive unit in his like base, the Super Saiyan form, he's obviously nowhere near as good pre-Super when it comes to defense, even though he does have guard. Um, so... He's another unit that will be very... He can work in slot 1, but kind of like Gogeta, like he's just going to be invincible if he's in slot 2. Because in his Super Saiyan form, he still gets that guaranteed additional super if he's in slot 2, as well as being in slot 1. But then you don't have to worry about him eating a super before he's done his attacks. Because it doesn't matter. Like his, his start of turn defense can be at like 200k. Because post all of the supers that he does... It's going to be significantly higher, and he has guard. So he's still going to be very, very strong defensively in, like, most situations. But there you go. The domain is now over, which means we no longer have the uh, buff, but then neither does Freezer. So we're at 383 start of turn here with guard. I wonder what that means for um, him in terms of that damage that he would take here. Because if we get supered immediately by Freezer. If he does a normal attack first and we get the 50% attack buff, then we would definitely be fine, um, which has happened. So now, yeah, we've got solid defense uh, with guard. We're getting the Dokon attack here. Um, why is it giving me the tutorial again? <laughs> I don't need this. And it's taking so long to load as well. Bruh. No, come on. Give me the Dokon attack. Why is it doing this? I'm Omega Shenron over here. I can't wait no more. Bro. Seriously. What? Stop. Okay. <laughs> we all know what the Dokon attack is at this point. Let's go. Oh, it's going way slower than I thought it was. I clicked it way too early. Uh, so he's got 19.8 million attack stat here. Because um, obviously we're not getting the extra buff from the domain. Which... It was juicing him up pretty pretty considerably, considering we've got support from the rotation uh, for Cooler. Um, so he was getting a lot of extra buff from that domain ability. But, man, look at these attack stats. Just, this guy's just so good. Oh, man, both of these units are absolutely incredible. Jeez, okay. Um, yeah, both these units are just insane. It's going to be so much fun. I'm definitely going to have to do a video with the 200% Super Saiyans team. With both of these guys on there, because oh boy, is that gonna be uh, is that gonna be fun? Because <laughs> yeah, Broly just keeps going here. He's just chugging away, doing all this damage. Um, you absolutely love to see it. So uh, 
yeah, there you go. That is uh, the LR full power Broly. Um, sadly, we can't run like the proper build of his team because, like I say, unfortunately, super bosses not available in the uh, private server currently. But of course, once it does get added, we can check it out and uh, do some other builds and do some different events and things like that. But Broly, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you love to see it. Villains, I mean, this team was obviously kind of wonky, but it's going to be great to have another villain team again that is like one of the best teams in the game. I think the last time was cooler worldwide because Zamasu's team always kind of had its issues, but man, what a unit. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Absolutely crazy. Who do you like more, Broly or Gogeta? Let me know your thoughts and everything on these two units down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.